Hey everyone, my name is Justin from justicegood.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to change facial expressions in Photoshop using the liquify tool. Alright, so this is going to work best on a clear picture where all the facial features are present and obviously it's a bit of a silly effect so we're not going to get something super realistic in the end. So what you want to do is open up your photo and then head over to filter, liquify. So when you get in the liquify menu, there's a few settings you can adjust about your brush to get the best results. I like to check advanced mode on to give me a little bit more flexibility. And then I like to set the pen pressure to 50 and then the density to about 70. This is going to influence how strong you're going to pull and smudge things. Also, I like to select pin edges just to keep our effect clean when we're adjusting the facial expression. So use a size of brush that works well for the face that and the image that you're trying to manipulate. So for me, 220 is good, but you could see how big it is in relation to the facial features. Now what I'm gonna do to turn this regular face into a angry face is I'm just going to adjust the eyebrows by clicking and smudging downward. Now notice I'm gonna pick my pen up multiple times so that I get as realistic of an effect as I can without messing with the eyeball too much. So now I'm going to do the other one, and it's already looking a bit more angry and offended. And don't worry if you go too far, you can always Command Z to undo, and Option Command Z to undo multiple times. But there's another tool we're going to use after to smooth things out. So I've got a bit of an angry look going on there with the eyebrows. And now we're going to take it from offended to angry. So we're going to take the lip and we're going to push the lip upwards a bit. Alright, so now as you can see, things are looking a bit ridiculous around the lip area. So what you can do is grab this tool right here. It's the smooth tool and then increase the size a bit. And I like to use a pressure of about 100, a density of about 50, and a rate of about 80. And then just brush over some parts that you want to smooth and restore out a little bit. They got a little bit too crazy looking. Alright, so that looks a lot better. Things are not as squished. And just to show you guys the difference, if you press this reconstruct button, you can reconstruct things all the way back to normal with zero and all the way back to 100. So you can see the difference in the facial feature from normal to angry. And if you didn't touch the lips, it would have looked more like offended. I think I read somewhere that like 60% of your facial feature is recognized by your eyebrows or something like that. So play around with the liquify tool. It's a really powerful tool. And as you can see, we can take someone from serious to offended to frowning and whatever you want to do with it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and you can get creative with the liquify tool on a picture of your own. If you guys did like this video, definitely hit like and subscribe to stay tuned for future videos. And I'll see you guys next time.